Hey guys, Kuroda180 here, everyone's favorite burning star, and welcome to the 499th video, Unspectacular. Why is it unspectacular? Well, because we're playing Family Feud today. Oh yeah, this game is gonna be very uneventful, but to celebrate this mediocrity, I brought in my good friend, Henji. Hello! Henji is not a Let's Player, but... We played Final Fantasy together for about five years. Final Fantasy XI, I should say. And I figured, well, why not bring him in for this miserable game? Although it's not that bad. And trust me, it's better than the other game we had selected. Ugh. You will never see that because it's glitchy. Ugh. It, but uh, we're going to play this, and it'll be fun. Um, this is a Super Nintendo version. There is a Genesis version. And let me just hit the start button here, and we can get going. Uh, Kikoski has played this game in the past, that's how I found out it even existed, and it's a very funny Let's Play, you should probably go watch. But, uh, let's set up a two-family game here. Start button, we want all the stuff the way it is. And now we get to pick our family! And I know exactly which, uh... Let's see, this is our different family selection here. Wow. Uh... Kiko used that family, so I'm not going to use it. I'll use this one. And I think I know exactly... I hope I'm spelling this properly. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm naming my family. <laughs> the Kleindast family. Oh. Uh, we're not returning champions because we've never played this game before. Ed. And now you get to pick. Um, and while you pick, tell everyone a little bit about yourself, Mr. Newcomer. Like, like what? Um, uh, I don't know, the fact you were in some of my earliest videos, but obviously you didn't say ever any speaking parts, but you were in them. Oh yeah, I was. I was in a couple of your earliest videos when we were fighting avatars for Final Fantasy XI. And I'm gonna choose this family because I like this girl in the blue and this guy with the beard. <laughs> and I'm going to name them the. They're going to be the Smith family. Smith? Will Smith? Generic Smith. Aww. And I am not a returning champion. Oh, and here we go with the first round. Name something people start but never finish. And I buzzed uh, in. And this aww. guy is old. Uh. People never start, never finish. Ah, uh, books? Yes. Aww. I could totally be completely my wrong. Idea. Oh. Eh, oh. I'm wrong. Hmm, something people start, but never finish. Ooh. Ah! Oh. oh, there you go. So, uh, you know, this this game is, is dated, obviously. Dishes? Dishes! Oh. Aww. Wow. Well, we get nothing for that. Any other specific something that... Um... This is easy. You better not be wrong. <laughs> if a dentist doesn't do this, then well, there's something seriously wrong. No! <laughs> My turn. I'm going with clean. This game goes so much faster when there's a good connection. Jeez. Clean. Yes. No, you won $2,000. Basically what happens in this round, well, I'll explain it when it's over, because it's really quick. Their wife. No, they don't. That's so wrong. <laughs> yes. No, it is wrong. I'm going with... Oh, you got the priest. I already know it. Damn. Break. And now you get three thousand dollars. Yu-Gi-Oh! No. Totally stole my idea. What, Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe the Pokemon card game. Or is it there's a terrible card game for everything now? There are a lot of card games too. Oh, oh. 
That means you're ahead of me now. That's not fair. No, you you have ten thousand dollars now. What might bring a couple back from the brink of divorce? Ooh. Um, I can't think of any appropriate answers. <laughs> there. Yeah. No. All right. So basically, in that first round, whoa! Look at them clap. Uh, in the first round, basically, we saw there was five face-offs there, and the money we played for is added to our $5,000 starting total, and that's the money we play for for the rest of the game. And now the real game starts. Out of 100 people surveyed, the top eight answers are on the board. Name something you put in a basket. Oh, pfft. Ah. Are you going to put chicken fingers? Lunch. Because I haven't eaten yet, I'm actually quite hungry. We're going with lunch. This is an epic duel. Not since Godzilla vs. Charles Barkley has there ever been Aww. a showdown of this magnitude. I got number seven, that's not very good. But you still control the- oh wait, no, I can still take control. Uh... That's- sometimes they'll do this, they'll let you get one chance to take control of the board. Uh, I'm going with flowers. That's pretty good. Not something I'd put into a basket. Oh! oh top answer! Oh, oh god. Seconds. Um. But I'll let you play. I'm passing it over to you. That sucks. Now you have to get the rest of them. Have fun! Something you put in a basket. As you guys might know, this is going to be an extra long episode because, well, it's the 499th and the next one is the big one. And we'll play something fun. But this isn't not fun. Boo. Booze? Books? I put books in a basket. This game was like made in the 70s. Aww. <laughs> they didn't they have bookshelves back then? No backpacks. What else? Well, you get two more tries. You get three tries total to before you have to... Sad... Sandwiches? Doesn't that count as lunch? No. <laughs> oh, that's too wrong. I suck at this game. <laughs> put in a basket. I don't put things in baskets. My devious mind has become devious. And I think I know a good answer. Should I put bees? <laughs> bees in a basket. <laughs> bees. My god. Uh, I got nothing. You better put something in. You have 15 seconds left. We're gonna put blankets. I love my cow. Oh, you better hurry! You better hurry! No! Oh. I still got it with one second left. And oh! No. Plandes family can steal the bank with one correct answer. Uh. Your answer gave me an idea. Laundry? Yes. Oh, that's so good. Damn it. <laughs> Did I win? I didn't think of that. Close. Close. Oh, thank goodness that counts. Oh, Fruit, fruit. Egg, eggs, bread. I should have got half of bread those. Basket. Candy, trash. I don't put trash in a bat. Well, I guess I kind of do. Candy? Trash basket. Is, is candy supposed to be like uh, Easter? Halloween. Or Easter. I always put my... I guess I put it in a bowl. And you have no points. Your family's very depressed. That's okay, I don't really like my family anyways. <laughs> the Burton family? Uh, out of 100 people, blah blah blah. When you're having problems with your spouse, who do you tell? Jeez! Oh, ah, I'm fast. Mother. Eh, mom will probably count. It better- What?! Oh! That's not cool. 
Uh... I have an idea. It's probably not right, though. Well, that's not a bad one. This game is quite picky. Uh... But I'm gonna try it. My BFF. It might be one of those where if you don't put in mother, it doesn't count. Oh! Ooh, that's a lot of points. That's right. It's worth double points now. And I'm gonna play. You better play. I'm just gonna put in parents. And uh -huh. Norton, get out of here! I hate my stupid antivirus. It always pops up when I'm using this thing. That was only worth eight. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I get an idea. Uh, oh boy. I don't know. Starts with a P. P? Your pets? No. <laughs> I have no idea how to spell this. I'm probably going to spell it wrong. I'm usually a very good speller, but not on the spot. Yeah, I'm not even going to even come close. But like I said, this game... Well, I was explaining this to Angie before we started. This game has really bad spelling and word recognition. Oh, it's wrong anyway. Oh, I know what to, how to put it. Yeah, <laughs> therapist. They're the only people that will listen. Isn't that right? Whatever your name is, Miss Bulky Lady. And uh, here's Grandpa Kleindost. Apparently, your therapist doesn't listen to your problems anymore. I <laughs> know we we don't pay him enough. Um. All right, I'm out of ideas actually. I was thinking psychologist, but that's close to a therapist, so if therapist doesn't work, I doubt psychologist is going to work. <laughs> Who else do you tell your problems to? Your children, no. Your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to know! I hit the wrong button. Family. No, that counts as parents. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm out of time. I don't know. But you could steal 134 points if you could think of a good one. Smith family. Aww. I only get one answer, though? Yep, you get one chance. But then you get all the points if you get it. I think. If you're having problems with your spouse, who do you tell? A priest! You tell your game show host. That's who. This guy's implying that this family... Everything to priests. Maybe. Aww. Simply. Siblings. Spouse? <laughs> Nobody? Oh, come on! When you're having problems with your spouse, you tell your spouse. That doesn't happen. You usually run to somebody who isn't your spouse. Yeah, exactly. That's bull. And I get all the points because I got some of the answers right. And you didn't. Nope. Ugh. God. I have zero points. I feel bad. <laughs> they look like, especially uh, the guy on the uh, the right there. He looks very upset. Name something associated with Sleeping Beauty. Damn. Oh yeah, you got this one. Oh, it's oh, not the top. It's it. Hmm. Oh god, I don't know what to put now. Above that. <laughs> there we I, go. I don't know about that. No. Oh. I'll play. You might as well. I played the last round. You need the We're points. With... Are you gonna put priest again? I'm gonna put Prince Charming. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you're starting to milk that answer. We just hit the 50 minute mark, although a couple of seconds have been shaved off the beginning of the video. We're already at 15 minutes, well that's long. Yeah, this, this is a decent length game. 
We'll probably get, like, a real game show out of it. We're gonna run out of time. Yeah. Wow, you got a ton of points. You're winning 63. by a lot. What else is associated with Sleeping Beauty? Uh, the witch. Not insomnia. W I C H. No. Wicked, Wicked Witch. It's only, was only on it's... number two, though. Jeez. What else? Sleeping Beauty. How about fairy tale? I think you've won the game. I hope so. It's is that not fair? I was dominating the other rounds, and all of a sudden you get one round and you win. I don't think so. Pretty oh, sure you like get three hundred points to win, but we'll find out. What else is associated with Sleeping Beauty? Uh, aren't there wild animals? No, I don't remember. Oh, I never sleeping. actually saw it, so sleeping. Yeah, you can put sleeping. I don't know. I think that's not gonna work though, since it's in the question. Sleeping and beauty. Ooh, I could do magic. The Gathering. Aww. Oh. What else is there? Wasn't there a dragon in that movie? I never saw it. I got nothing. We'll bake something up. Well, I give you a fun fact about the Kleindast family. These people aren't actually his relatives, but actually failed clones from him from that video game. Love. Blech. It was a story about true love. Aww. Oh no, I probably will not get this. Penguins. The answer's penguins. No, although they should be. But no, <laughs> that would be a very weird movie. But a forest. There was a well. Oh, you get all those points. Spinning wheel. Air. That has nothing to do with Sleeping Beauty. That has to do with, uh, what's her name? Oh, yeah. Rapunzel's the one with the spinning wheel. And then the chick with the hair was... I can't remember. That's Somebody. BS. Different stories, people. Well, Not I... Family feud. This is just, just depressing now. <laughs> well, you still got all those points, though. I know. You actually get Yay. to clap around. I can't tell who my people are, though. Who's the mom, who's the dad? They all look the same. They do. Well, but hey, I don't want two cheese. <laughs> I do, but not ne next to each other. See guys, I am competent at some games when it comes to game shows. Whoa, that's a lot of points. Uh, I think I have some other good answers. Floss. Candy floss. No. I don't know who calls it candy floss. I always call it cotton candy. Yeah! Oh, you're behind me by one point now. Yeah, but this is added to my current total. Oh, dang. Uh, Alright, now I'm starting to run out of... I guess I could try Toothbrush. Yeah, that was one of my next answers. Listerine! Oh, I don't know. Another good one, but I'm not going to tell you, because then you'll win. <laughs> exactly. It's probably... Eh, maybe it's one, one word. Oh, no. Uh... Finger? Yes. <laughs> it's true. Uh, 
Depends on the size of what's stuck in there. Oh no. Uh, One more chance, and then I get a steal. Oh no. Um. Uh. What's left? Got uh, nothing. Uh. Man, I can't think of anything else. I mean, he's flossing a toothpick, and that's kind of it. A pencil. Ew, no. It graphite poisoning. This is the 70s, man. Uh, 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 a zebra? Sure, why not? I can't think of anything. How about bubble gum? <laughs> I think that would just cram it in there even more. Okay, I can steal with the correct answer. <laughs> if we could think of one. Here we go. Here goes my last answer. Ton... Tongue? Well, it might work, I suppose. Oh, oh! That was such a good answer! Fingernail? I put finger! Come on! Matchbook? Matchbook? No? What, what kind of sadist would do that? I don't know. Hey, you still got the points. I, I think you're still behind me by a point, though. I got 246 added like 163. Shh. Sorry, you lost. Better luck next time. Now I get to play the final round. We should have played that other game because that would have kicked your butt. Guts, you probably would have. Yeah, we were going to play Nickelodeon Guts. Oh, God, that game is bad. That was awesome at it. Too bad the show was, the show was good, but the game, sadly, is not. The fast money round is coming up, so I'm not breaking the video. No, you get all in one. Are they making this guy play it? It's something the streets are named for. People, famous people. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's well, you can't lose now because you already lost. So I guess. I know that's why I'm helping. <laughs> You already lost. I'm rubbing it in your face, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you are beating me pretty badly at guts. That father and sons do together. A uh, fish. Play sports. That uh, fish isn't a bad one though either. No, yeah, but this is the Midwest. The... Oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> R, R or S, I would imagine. Or go with T. S. Or T. S is probably a good one. Where's the dictionary when you need it? In the month when new cars come out? I don't actually know that. I think it's like around November. I have no idea. I remember I used to go to the auto show. And I forget when that was, but I'll just put it in November. Sure, why not? Then if not, I'll just go with January. I was thinking it was like March, but I don't know. I, could, I don't know anything about cars, really. Seems simple, a little bit of a tie. <laughs> that means tied. A tied fighter. Let's see what I got. We get two chances uh -oh. here. People. Says, Ooh. Answer. That's pretty good. Says, Fish. Ooh, that's good. Says, that's that's one good answer. too. I may have already Survey won. Says, November wasn't very good. Says, Necktie. Alright, I need 200 points to win. And now they're asking her. That's money round. Let's keep going. Uh, something else to name for. Uh, teachers? No. Um, uh, presidents? Presidents. Presidents. What about things like Hollywood and stuff? Like what are? It's not Hollywood Street, I guess, but you get the idea. Like trees and places. Places. I don't even know what I was thinking. Yeah. This is, we only need, we need like 20-ish points, so, uh, we don't have to get everything perfect here. Sports. No, sports is too generic. That's true. Uh, can we put baseball or pitch or something? Catch? Play catch. catch. That's a good one. They mess up the house while the mother has to clean everything up. And I'm gonna put R this time. Or, or T. T. Either one. I'll go T. Oh, 
I'll put March since you might be right about that. I don't know. It was, I thought it was March or February for some reason. It could be. I don't really know. Um, shoes. Oh, yeah, shoes. Or laces, I suppose. I'd put shoes, probably. I'll put shoe laces. I have enough. Hey! No! Stop <laughs> scrolling over that one. I'll just put shoe lace. Oh, laces, why not? All right. Laces. No points. Zero. Catch. Zero. No points. Oh, no. T. We win. Yay. 200. Yeah. Come on, March. March. No Zero. points. Oh, shoe laces. 52, 52 points. Oh, we broke it. We win. Well, you won. I just helped win. I hope you guys enjoy this near half hour long episode. And as I already said, it's unspectacular. Just like our really bad commentary on this game. I went to 9,000 points. I mean, that's dollars. Points. I had more money than you. We should have let me win. <laughs> My returning code is. <laughs> that's how I would pronounce that. Uh, we can keep going, but I think a half an hour a bit or 25 minutes is pretty good, so, uh... 499th video, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty long, and I don't think the 500th video will be that long, but, uh... That's what you guys get to look forward to. The big one is coming, and Henji will still be here. So look Yay! Forward to that. Uh, we'll definitely play something more involved. And just, just watch them clap for a minute while we, uh, say our, our goodbyes. So, uh, this is the very... Actually, the Kleindass family isn't really smiling. And, uh, maybe that's why they were rejected by him, because he's kind of, uh, you know, a little psycho. Is the one on the far left a girl or a guy? I think it's, a. Uh, you know, yeah, it might be a guy with a mullet. But, uh, we'll just say for all intents and purposes that's a woman. Okay. With football-sized shoulder pads in her jacket. And, uh, so, alright, guys, we'll see you in the big 500th video. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you in that. Say goodbye. <laughs>